Nobody plays with me anymore. Hmm. I'll watch some TV to cheer myself up. I hate Snake Shock! I hate him! Hmm. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! Hmm. Ivanashka. Hmm. It's not easy being green. Excel gets lonely sometimes, and I want to bring in some of my favourite old games. I'm going to write the Excel equation for Snake and animate it. No computer code, no macros, all logic and arithmetic. This is how I did it. Let me know your favourite retro games, and if I can, I'll put it in Excel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Snake was first seen on the Nokia 6110 in 1998, and was developed by the Finnish software engineer Tanelli Amanto. It was the first Nokia phone to feature games, along with logic and memory, a game which ironically no one can remember. Snake, on the other hand, is estimated to be the world's most played mobile game. It started the market for mobile games, and it explains why since 1998 your toilet break started taking longer. An artist needs a canvas, which for me is making the rows and columns into a grid for the gameplay area. The Nokia had four colours, green, 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 and, uh, let me check, green. Only two colours displayed at once, there were two normal greens and two backlit greens. You might be thinking, hang on, that doesn't look like the snake I remember. There was a spider and a mouse and everything. Well, that's because you're thinking of Snake 2, you f***ing idiot. This is what you were aiming for in Snake. No idea. Can't find anything out about it. Flower, diamond, Vija orifice. As with a lot of early games, memory space was at a premium, so the animal, let's call him Pliskin, Call me Snake. Okay, let's call him Snake, cut a few corners. Although the grid is 47 by 83, Snake can only be in one of 20 horizontal locations and 11 vertical locations. As Snake moves, it transitions 4 pixels from one box to the next. The first step was to work out which of the boxes that Snake was in. This is Snake as a collection of 4x4 four four boxes, so no gaps at all. Putting in the gaps made Snake a collection of 3x3 three three boxes, so he's a very stripy snake. The gaps were put in because there are some areas of the screen that Snake never goes in. These edges, for example. When you crash into the wall or yourself, you actually stop just one pixel away. There is always a gap as well between Snake as he turns. So I need to fill in the gaps between Snake's body without joining him together. Once Snake has eaten the flower, I'm going with flower, another one appears randomly on the screen. The trick here is to put the flower somewhere that Snake isn't. When playing Snake, the dream was that each flower would appear nicely in front of the next one, so you needed to move as little as possible. Each time Snake eats a flower, he grows by one block length, which makes it tougher to navigate, but more likely of that dream of every flower in a row. And here's the formula. This section puts the frame around the outside. This is the flower. 
This section is snake, and these parts fill the gaps in between. Part of the equation references this mini table, which shows which box each part of snake is in. These grids show when to fill the blanks in between, and these grids randomly place the flower in the next location, making sure to put the flower where snake is not. To move snake, it was 4 for left, 2 for up, 6 for right, and 8 for down. You couldn't go back on yourself, so if you were going left, you couldn't go right without going around in a circle. Snake was phenomenally popular. You had a game that you can start with minimal load time or having to plug in various cables into a TV. Snake had nine levels, so noobs and professional gamers got something out of it. It was more fun than typing 58,008 into your calculator and passing it upside down to your maths teacher. But the absolute best thing was that the Nokia battery lasted forever. Spec did a standby time of 270 hours. That's over 11 days. The latest iPhone can just about manage 11 hours. Although this criticism is nothing new. Back in the 90s, people were unimpressed by 270 hours. Tin has a half-life of 100,000 years. Let's see Snake in action one more time. Hit that like button and subscribe for more Excel art. Don't forget to put in the comments your favourite old games, and I'll animate the best suggestions in Excel. Thanks for watching. Dr. Jones, we're going to lock you in a box with only a single mobile phone game for company. Snake. Why did it have to be Snake?